Sweet Artists! For this week's lesson, we are going to focus on Earth Day, and we're going to be creating artworks using the nature outside in our own backyards. One artist I want to introduce you to is Andy Goldsworthy. He's a British artist who uses the natural world around him to create art. He is a land artist and his sculptures are intentionally temporary and left in their physical environment. In this artwork, this is an example of radial symmetry. Symmetry is when you have the same on both sides. Radial symmetry begins in the middle and then repeats in a circle as it radiates outward. Andy Goldsworthy will collect leaves and sticks and flowers and then arrange them in a unique way and leave them in their natural environment. Another land artist is named John Foreman. He oftentimes works really large and collects stones or leaves or oftentimes uses the sand to create his land art. John Foreman embraces the idea of his artwork being temporary. Most often the weather and immediate climate will make his work disappear almost as soon as he finishes it. Within all of these land art sculptures, they use a common idea of balance and symmetry and they group different shapes and colors of whatever they find around them. To begin our project, we're gonna go outside and we're gonna collect our materials. So I want you to think about finding different colors, shapes, and textures when picking your leaves, sticks, and flowers. Once you have your materials, I grouped mine by the plant just to organize my station. Now I'm working on a table, but you could also just do this in your grass or in the dirt or by a tree. And then you're just gonna jump in and start playing around with the different shapes and the colors. So you'll see in this example, I only had one of these purple flowers, so I went ahead and started with that in the center and then worked outwards. Now, as you're creating, remember radial symmetry. So whatever you do to one side, you have to do to the other. You guys can see the wind really wanted to join in on my mandala. So just embrace it, replace it, have fun. Don't worry about it. Once you have completed your mandala, remember it's supposed to be temporary and the wind might eventually blow it away, but talk with your families. You may need to put them back where you found them or throw them away or just leave them in their natural environment. Earth Day is on April 22nd. This would be the perfect time to create as a family, get outside, get some fresh air and have fun creating. <laughs>